It's not a call they get every day, but it's one that the Ledgedale Volunteer Dive and Rescue Team was more than eager to go to. I was convinced that they weren't going to find it. And then Richard came up with the rings. <laughs> Carl and Mary Grace Polnack have spent the last 20 plus years of their retirement living just off of Lake Wallenpawpack in Lakeville. Through 64 years of marriage, the bride's wedding ring has only come off a handful of times, but one day, Mary Grace's wedding ring fell into the murky waters by their dock. And it fell off of her finger. Now, it, how could it fall off of her finger when we had trouble getting it off like she went into surgery? Carl says he panicked and, as an engineer, thought the worst. I had this dread that this was an omen that my life was now, instead of this wonderful life I've been having, it's going to be disaster after disaster. He says Mary Grace remained the voice of reason through the incident. The couple took to social media. That's where they found the Ledgeville Volunteer Fire Department's dive and rescue team. Uh, they reached out to social media, and uh, Rich was able to respond, and on his way home from work, was able to go down, uh, talk to them what had happened. They had marked the area. They went down, and uh, he was able to recover it in 18 feet of water. Joe Slijinski is the dive captain for the volunteer crew and says he has a veteran squad that trains rigorously for all types of dives. These guys dive every Sunday uh, that throughout the year. That way they know what they're going to be up against no matter what would come up into a call. The usual call is not so lighthearted, but Slijinski has never been anything short of confident in his team. He cites the difference between looking for a rescue and a ring. Something like this is a little bit different than if you're going to run go, going down in a rescue uh, operation. This should be a little bit slower, more methodical to make sure you're not kicking up any of the debris on the bottom. Because once you lose your visibility, looking for something that small, you're pretty much going to have to step back and let things settle down for a while. He adds that most of the roughly 30-minute operation for the Paul Knack wedding ring was preparation and veteran know-how. Carl and Mary Grace are amazed at how quick and smooth the process was from reaching out all the way to recovery. We got to Richard, and Richard was positive. He said, I'll get it for you. So funny, Rich comes up with the rings. Miracle. <laughs> The Polnacks are related to have their ring back, and while Pontoski wouldn't take any payment for the mission, Mary Grace made sure he left with a donation for the volunteer fire company. As for the post-incident attitude towards the rescued ring... Yeah, well, and I can't get it off now. <laughs> I, last night when we, were, when we got in bed, I said, show me your hand, I want to see the rings. <laughs> After all is said and done, a successful rescue mission, and the happy couple is just excited to have that ring on the finger in time for their 65th wedding anniversary later this year. Out on the water in Lakeville, Kevin Hayes, Eyewitness News.